Hello everybody, welcome to the Reviews. Thanks for joining me for this next review, which is my second lager tonight from Lidl. It's another Italian lager called Bira Italia. Uh, it comes at 5% ABV. I'll be asking the same question uh, I asked the Bira uh, Beyonder. Uh, is it just a, a generic European lager? Or does it taste anything decent? Uh, like that last one from Lidl, it just says EU barley mops made in hops, so they could come from anywhere in the EU. Confused as to what this is supposed to be looking like. Um, the blue and red make me think of Peroni. Peroni's 5.1, this 5%, so it could be based on that. Um, it looks close to, if I can get a picture of it, I'll show you of it, of the um, beer at Italia. But that's 4.5% ABV, and I don't think it's available here over in the UK anyway, so I don't know why they would clone that one. But the label looks really close to that one. Uh, an interesting fact, which I think is always interesting when people talk to me about Peroni, it's not called Peroni. Peroni is the brewery, isn't it? Nasto Azzurro is the name of the beer. But we all call it Peroni, don't we, even though that's just the name of the brewery. Let's crack it open, shall we? Um, this cost me £1.50. 39 pence so this one and the Bira Biona Bionda Bionda uh, both cost the same hmm. well, we can get a bit of splash tap splash back and we don't want boys do we there you go so, like a lager, it's poured clear, golden, and some slow moving carbonation. Uh, it's got a small, foamy head. Okay, let's get the aroma, shall we? Now, this one, like the last one, when I was pouring it, I got a little bit of. Um, Skunkiness. There may even be just a little bit, just a little bit of skunkiness still left. Just got that smell of wet cardboard. Ever so, ever so slightly, ever so slightly. Right, let's taste it, shall we? Uh, oh, sorry, aroma-wise, it is a little bit skunky, I think. But yeah, like malts, a little bit of citrus. It's just very typical of the style, isn't it? You can tell I'm not a lager drinker by trade. Right, taste it. Cheers, everybody. Maybe a hint of skunkiness. Maybe a little bit, not a lot. It's got that light grainy malt. Um, I think this is a little bit sweeter than the other one. But again, sweetness is what you expect from the style. There's a hint of citrus. There is a very, very mild skunkiness. But. I know lager drinkers like it. I know lager drinkers like it, don't they? Um, which one is it? Is it Heineken? Is it just... Do you know what? I need to look into it because I've always had this uh, little urban... Which might be an urban myth that they... Uh, it's not... Technically it's called light, um, light struck. It's when the UV rays penetrate the bottle. UV rays can penetrate quite easily clear and green bottles um, and it affects the chemical um, composition of the hops that are in it. So if you you never know how it's being kept but if you've got um, clear or green bottles try and keep them out of the sun as much as possible. Try and keep them out of the sun because apparently not apparently. 
it's a well-known fact that actually light struck can happen really really quickly it doesn't take days or weeks or months it can happen very very quickly in the right conditions um yeah i think it's high <sighs> somebody will correct me on i know but as a live ring i can't really remember but i'm sure it's heineken um skunk light strike their hops early on and it gets bottled like that because people lager drinkers like the flavor i'm sure i've read that somewhere it was probably on wikipedia so it's probably true or in the sun so it's probably true hmm It probably tastes a little bit more like an Italian lager than the beer Bionda, if I'm being honest. It's, uh, for me, it's a little bit sweeter. It has got a dry finish, but in the mouth, it's a bit, little bit sweeter. It's a little bit fuller flavoured. It is light. It's crisp. It's refreshing. Like I said, it's got that dry... Uh, dry finish decent carbonation it's got a fairly clean aftertaste but it's a little bit skunked so I do have to deduct, deduct a point for that I don't know if it's a batch, I don't know if it's how little keep it, I don't know if it's brewed that way. I don't know. And all I can do is score what is in front of me. Um, I'm going to score it 5.5 out of 10. It's a 5.5 out of 10 from Managed Beer Reviews, whatever you're drinking tonight. Please enjoy it until the next review. Cheers everybody.